Welcome to the Flex iPhone app demonstration. In this demo, you will see how to scan inventory out from a pull sheet and then how to scan in from a return manifest. On the home page of the iPhone app, we will tap the schedule button in the upper left hand corner. The calendar with upcoming jobs will appear. We will be working with the quote iOS training. The number one with the right pointing arrow means that there is a child element associated with this quote. If we tap the arrow, it will show us the child element, which in this case is a pull sheet. We will tap on the pull sheet name and the pull sheet information screen will appear. Then we'll tap on the options menu on the bottom right and choose launch prep screen. We are now in the prep screen for this pull sheet. There are several ways that we can enter barcode information on this screen. First, if we click the search icon in the upper right hand side of the screen, the barcode input screen will open. We can either scan a barcode with the phone's camera or manually enter a barcode in the barcode entry field. This item is non-serialized so the quantity prompt will appear. Pressing the plus button will increase the quantity. And then we'll tap on the check mark on the upper right. You can see that the power strip quantity has been fulfilled and there's now a check mark next to the item. Also notice that the progress bar has increased to 25%. Another way we can enter a barcode is by virtual scan. If we swipe to the left on the line item that we want to virtually scan, the virtual scan button will appear. We'll tap the button and be brought to the quantity prompt screen again since this item is also non-serialized. Let's move over to the desktop app really quick and see how what we're doing in the iPhone app is updating on the desktop app. For the next item, we'll use the phone's camera to scan a barcode. This is a non-serialized barcode, so again, the quantity prompt will appear. We'll use the phone's camera again for the last item. This time the item is serialized, so we will scan a specific serial number barcode. Now that all the items on this pull sheet have been scanned, we'll tap the cogwheel on the lower left hand part of the screen. Then tap finalize on the lower right. This job can now be sent out of the warehouse. If we move over to the desktop app again, we can see how the pull sheet has been updated. When this job returns, we can scan the inventory back into the warehouse with the iPhone app. Using the back button, we will go back to the first page of the calendar. Then swipe down to refresh. We will now go to the pull sheet and you can see that the pull sheet has a child element associated with it. If we tap the arrow, we can see that this is a manifest. We'll tap on the manifest name, then the options menu, and choose launch return screen. We can now scan these items back into the warehouse. Remember, we can do this several different ways. We can manually input the barcode, We can perform a virtual scan, we can scan a non-serialized barcode with the phone's camera, and we can scan a serialized barcode with the camera. We'll tap the cogwheel, then finalize. This job has now been returned into the warehouse inventory. Let's switch to the desktop app one last time and open the return manifest for this job. And you can see that it has been finalized. Stay tuned for more iPhone app demo videos as well as updates on an official release date for the app.